I had a burp. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, boys. You know what time it is, baby. It's go time. Buckle up. All right, so we've got the whole get rich guru guy, buy my course era thing on, uh, you know, on all platforms. Basically, everybody and their cousin's uncle is selling courses, and I love it. It's perfect. Knowledge is power, okay? And uh, I went very Andrew Tate-esque today, no undershirt under the jacket. Just kind of spice things up, keep it light, keep it loose, keep it fun. So we're going to dig deep in here. We're going to actually look at some of these people's courses. And if you're new here, get on in here, brother. We're going to have a good time. So we got Meet Kevin up first, and let's meet this guy. I'm excited. Most people think the way to make more money is that you gotta run a business because business leads to money. Yeah. What if I told you that was wrong? Business and making money is actually all about people. When a business provides great value to people, those people refer more business and this loop continues. Anytime you as an individual provide value to people, you work with folks better, you provide employment, you provide a good, you provide a service, you take care of people, guess what shakes out of the cycle of businesses working for people now I know why he's a millionaire <laughs> riveting information <laughs> so I went to his website and wait until you see this shit this is rich okay um, so he doesn't just have a course this guy's got make money make more money get shit done faster featuring AI that's a good course name get shit done faster Stocks and psychology, uh, psychology of money. He's got real estate investing from $0 to millionaire and beyond. That is bold. <laughs> the bold and the beautiful. Wow. The DIY property management and rental renovation course. Real estate 0 to 500 k and beyond. Well, no, I want to do the million and beyond. Like, why would I even waste my time with that one? Make money with YouTube. Wow. Okay. Let's get into some pricing here. This is like gold stuff. Literally, it's gold. Okay? I'm not just saying that as a, um, you know, I'm not just being sarcastic. Uh, all right. So we got the first course is $430. Um, private Discord access, course member live streams. Okay? So it looks like you don't get shit for that. All right. Let's go down to the second one. Uh, second one, you're going to get the stocks, the making money with AI, the DIY property, all for a low price of $2,530. You want to hit? Good Lord. Um, it keeps going. Hold, hold on. This is like, <laughs> this is awesome. Real quick, just to clarify, it was 2500 bucks there and $30. The second one is the diamond experience. Uh, oh, and the platinum experience. You get... All of the first features, the buying the real estate, stack hack. What the fuck is a stack hack? So basically, this is all for a low price of $9,990. And here's the best part. If you can't afford that, you can make uh, interest-free payments with Affirm or Afterpay. That's perfect. Christmas come early, boys. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> me. I don't want to roast the guy, but let's take a testimony from uh, someone who actually took me kevin's course for 500 bucks this guy's name is uh call me shape he's got a youtube channel let's see what he has to say about it kevin's youtube course worth it and just two words absolutely not honestly i spent 500 dollars on this course just for me kevin to teach me loser how to turn on a light how to adjust your microphone how to set up your camera like bro I bought this course because I just became monetized on YouTube and I was trying to figure out how to get from 1,000 subs to 10,000 subs to 100,000 subs, maybe even a million subs like me, Kevin. And all he talked about was how to make a thumbnail, how to set up your video. Like, bro, you could literally find all the information on this course on YouTube for free. <laughs> 500 bucks, dude. Think about that. And you know what's funny? It's like... If you just watch the guy's channel, all you'd have to do is go, oh, I just talk about real estate every day and stocks and money. Anyone? That's all the guy does. No offense. Like, I get it. He's kooky. He seems like a f kind of fun guy. I uh, wouldn't, like, buy real estate from the dude. 
This, uh, if you're new here, I like to read your comments from previous videos. Keep it fun. Keep it interesting. Keep it light. Keep it loose. This guy goes, you look like someone we absolutely shouldn't take advice from. Good, because I'm here to make fun of shit. But we, I'll tell you who we should take advice from. This guy. Okay, you make 80000 a year and you save twenty. Hooray, you save $20,000 a year. Right. Why not just spend that effort and go make five hundred or a million in a year? Right. Fucking Robert Kiyosaki. It's genius. Why didn't I think of that? Saki, who wrote Rich Dad Yeah, Porter. Robert really likes me. He said he doesn't agree with your financial advice, and he said I don't put much worth in Grant Cardone's words. Why do you guys have this kind of disagreement? I think Robert said I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cardone many times. He and I have gone head-to-head -to -head with each other. I don't put much worth in his words. The next time you meet him, ask him, how many times has he even met me in person? How many times has he met you? Zero. Have you guys done an interview or anything? I or? did one podcast with him. He's never been toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. That was a lie. He's never met me. I've spent maybe 12 minutes with him in an interview. I don't know what he knows about my advice. I don't know why he would disagree with anything when we haven't even spent any time together. I know this. Maybe he should do more of what he says. Why don't you own $4 billion worth of real estate? What Robert said was that he doesn't keep his money in cash. Apparently, overseas, he has these big vaults just filled with gold bricks. Did Robert tell you who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad? He didn't write it. Might be like his goal. What? <laughs> just two get-rich gurus. Um, both arguing with each other and saying, don't listen to that get rich guy. I just thought that was rich, honestly. And to be fair with the uh, rich dad, poor dad, I read that book like 10 years ago and it was actually a pretty good book. It was, it was kind of more like a biography kind of like even, I thought it was a pretty good book. I mean, he, he's pretty honest about it. He's like, I got rich selling books. <laughs> hey man, they're all... They're all pretty sketchy, if you ask me. I don't trust them. You know what I mean? I'd rather wait, you know, spend fifteen bucks on a book than you know buy somebody's fucking two thousand dollar course. That's for sure. So to be fair on that one, and now we got another one, Graham Stephan. Yay! Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show, and today we're going to be exposing financial gurus and why you shouldn't listen to them from none other than Ramit Sadie. Now, if that name sounds familiar, it's because he has a channel on YouTube called "I Will Teach You to Be Rich." And <laughs> I will teach you to be rich. You can't make it. This is, it's rich, robust, and rewarding. I love it. The best part is, though, I'm only putting these in here because it's like, like, all these get rich guru guys. Because the Graham Stephan dude, this guy here, his claim to fame was like, how I became a millionaire by 25 or some shit. Like, that's his claim to fame. You know, so he's no better than any of the rest of them. I get it. Like, I don't care. Like, I, I like some of this guy's stuff. I don't watch, you know, if he's got a good guest on his podcast or something, I might check it out. But, um, yeah, I just thought that was hilarious. But let's see what this guy's selling besides real estate. And you guessed it. It's a course. So let's go ahead and check it out here. I'm going to go to one of his links because it was kind of, it was kind of uh, confusing because it says Real Estate Agent Academy, but then... Like, that's the website, but then it goes YouTube Creator Academy. So I was kind of confused on that. It was kind of like, what? You know what I mean? So for the low price of, oh, you get 100 bucks off. Wow. So instead of $397, it's $297 for Graham Stephan to tell you how to talk about money and real estate to a camera and post it to the internet. It's perfect. Hey, get your bread, man, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> whatever, dude. Um, since I didn't have too many comments related to the subject, if you're new here, you surf the channel. You might have fun. You might not. You know, I might not like you either. It's all good. This guy goes, nice wig man for real. Actually, if you go to my website, um, sucksevraldicks.com, I'll teach you how to wig out and rock a wig like this. So, yes, it's sucksevraldicks.com forward slash F you. Uh, we got Trevor Wallace. Now, this is a curveball. If you don't know who this is, comedian, makes stupid sketches. There are some of them are pretty, pretty funny, I, I, I must say. Um, he does a pretty good job at making fun of a lot of uh, <laughs> these kind of people. But I somehow came across his website because I was curious to what he was selling stand-up tickets for. And it turned out years ago, I think this course is from like five years ago, but even this fucking guy who makes skits is selling a course like 
it's awesome. And to be fair, this one, he goes, uh, you're not broke. You're just poor. See, he's like, he's a comedian. So <clears throat> he's not, he's really just going to show you how to literally make content and build a following. But to be fair, for $125, um, I'm willing to bet all of Meet Kevin's premium platinum package of $10,000 that you probably get more information from this comedian and a better, you're going to get a better teacher here for $125 than $10,000. I'm willing to bet money on that. Um, but I'm not about to spend $10,000 on Meet Kevin, so... No, he can, he can go ahead and go to SuckSeveralDicks.com as well. Oh, this guy was classic. This was rich. Check this out. Eamon Godz... Godz... Uh, God, whatever, I can't read. Four million subscribers. All right, let's see what this guy's selling. He goes, my name is uh, Eamon. I started this channel in 2015 before I found any success... So scroll back and see me trying to be a personal trainer, a uh, personal trainer, the harsh realities of dropping out of high school, building one leading online advertising agency all the way through me making $30 million by the age of 23. <laughs> I don't hide anything. Well, that's good. That's really good. All right. So let's see what this guy's uh, selling here. I was scrolling through his channel. And uh, he's got seven li seven life lessons I learned this year. Okay, how to make twenty four four four. He spent six hundred thousand dollars on cars in one week. It's very uh, good information. Seven steps to unfuck your life. That's awesome, and, dude. He's like twenty four. Like, come on, chill out. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I clicked on one of the videos, but this was funny. What happened here? Listen to me. What are you doing? There's an ad of him on his own fucking video. I, I already don't trust him. With your life. I mean it. What the actual f are you doing with your life? With your time? I don't know. Listen to me. You are so close. You are doing so many things right. You're working hard. You're putting in the effort. There's these seven things that are counteracting all of the good things. <laughs> I already don't trust him. I, I didn't even bother looking for his course. But I guarantee you homie's got one. Just saying. Willing to put money on it. Uh, we got uh, Andrew Tate, Mr. Matrix himself. Um, you know, I think he's actually very entertaining, but I went to his website and uh, just see what this what he's got going on. Um, I find him very entertaining. I don't know if I'm going to become a part of his program or nothing like that. No offense. Look, I get it. I get it. Guy's pretty funny, I will say. Like, he's pretty good. But um, I don't know about the whole going under his wing shit. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see what he's got to say here. You need your handheld. You need your handheld because when you first escape the matrix, you're lost in the ether. You're lost. Whew. You understand you're living inside of a mechanism which is designed to control you, but you don't extend, understand exactly how to escape it. If I were to tell you that there are ways of making money which are so foreign to you, so alien that you... I'm sold. Sign me up. If you guys want to break out of the matrix... And uh, see through the bullshit. You can come and join his uh, courses here. He's got fifty bucks a month for the cadet course. Okay, two hundred and fifty dollars uh, every six months for the contender, and eight hundred and fifty dollars for the champion. God damn it, brother! Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, hi, hi, hi. Sorry, my bad. Got a little. Or you could join with crypto too. Uh, this guy goes, you're not Theo Vaughn, dude. Dig the content. Stop trying so hard. I promise your actual character is way better than anything. Keep rocking, baby. Dude, I've, I've gotten up. You sound like Theo Vaughn so many times, and I honestly don't fucking get it. Well, because we're white. We have odd haircuts. We say weird stuff. I, I don't get it. I really don't. That's all I see. I, I don't think I've ever said the word bruh in my life. I was going to I was gonna do some digging on this cat here, Alex Hermosi, but once I saw this, why I don't go home for the holidays, I, and him just shredded next to a Christmas tree and like a rocking pony behind him, a rocking pony, a rocking horse, I, I kind of just was like, why even bother? You know, he's another get rich guy. Why don't go for home for the holidays? Why would you go home for Christmas? All you're going to do is spend money on gifts. You're broke. You're a loser. Buy my course. So anyways, maybe he's a good guy though. I don't know. Like, all right. So we got another one here. 
This guy's podcast is called Rich and Unemployed. I love it. Uh, I thought this one was great because this guy is selling a lot. And I'm not here saying any of these dudes don't have any valuable information. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just kind of like looking at the broad spectrum of this and going, wow, everybody's got a fucking course. Like literally. So this guy's got every course you could think of. He's got Join the Private Gentleman's Club. He's got the podcast course. He's got book one-on-one. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do a little digging here. Let's check out his uh, podcast course first here. Um, Maybe check that one out. See what he's got. See how much he's charging. I'm curious. The Art of Podcasting. Podcasting Mastery for $397. Wow, what's up with the $397? Is that like some special number? (coughs) It goes, Unleash Your Podcasting Potential with the Art of Podcasting by Jonathan Tupont. Tuponton. However you say his name. And just so you know, I actually subscribe to this guy. It's kind of cool to see somebody. It's like a, a hood guy's take on life. It's kind of interesting. Um, I really only watch his videos if it's just him in it. And sometimes I don't really make him all the way through. Sometimes he'd just be sitting there. It's almost like he's like stoned or something. You're just like, it's like, are you going to say something yet? Um, anyways, this is another one he's got. He's got Rich and Unemployment Podcast Interview Opportunity. You could be a guest on the show. Wow, that would explain his channel's uh, his channel. I checked in on his channel. It's just like doing shit numbers, but it makes sense because he's booking people to be on the fucking podcast. That's that's genius. He goes elevate your brand with the podcast interview. Two hours in studio. All right. Um, I tried checking out how much it would cost me to do that, and I thought it'd be fun just to do it. <laughs> uh, although I do not need his help whatsoever. Um, uh, but you have to fill out so much information. He can't just give you an upfront price. He's got to know if you're for real about it, but check out the numbers on his channel here. And this makes sense because all of these are like interviews and I'm assuming most of these people paid for the interview. Like they're not really that great of numbers. Um, and that's fine. I'm not trying to roast this guy. I'm just saying it's kind of like, what's the incentive to, to pay for that? The, the best numbers this guy does is when he's by himself, um, which is the funniest part. But, like, look, like, did this guy really pay to come on this podcast? You know what I mean? And, like I said, I'm not trying to roast this dude. I'm just saying it's getting a little out of hand. And I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if you think I should book a, a thing with this guy. Because um, I'll fucking do it. I really don't care. I think it'd be funny. And I would ask him, too. I'd be like, bro, come on. What are you doing? But, like, look at these numbers. Like, who's going to pay for that? Oh, people. Obviously, these people. They're paying for it. Yeah, so anyways, what else has he got? He's got something else here. Private Gentleman's Club. Let's see what this is. So, it looks like for $97 a month, you could be part of... Oh, his name's uh, Finesser's Only Club. Oh, yeah, that's right. His, like, claim to fame was that he was, like, a scammer-type credit card guy, uh, you know, did prison time. The classic, the classic, you know, I'm just trying to get money to feed my daughter, you know. Um, Gen Z. The classic. <laughs> but anyway, you can check his channel out. Maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. Uh, I think some of his stuff's pretty good. But the interviews, I'm kind of like, who are you interviewing? You know, it's, <laughs> it's anyways. And then just before you want to, like, I wasn't. I didn't put Gary V in here. He just popped up in the feed as I was looking for this information, and I was actually wondering what happened to him. He used to be in all of our faces all the time, but just when you don't want to like him, he says some genius shit. He's not lazy. They understand their options. Hey, you want to come work this dick shit job and get paid fifty-two thousand a year, or do you want to stay home and make TikToks and make sixty thousand a year? Yeah, companies are completely fucked. If you don't give a fuck about your employees, why the fuck should they care about you? Yeah, and you could always just go buy a course from a rich and unemployed guy or Graham Stuffin or, you know, fuck college, you know, just go buy a Meet Kevin's course for 10 grand. It's cheaper than probably any college you're going to go to. And according to that dude's shape, it's not worth your money. So it's basically just like going to college. No offense. This dude goes, if you can't say a sentence without using the F-bomb, you shouldn't be on YouTube. So I responded. I went to the mall yesterday. 
Yay, I did it. Turns out I can say a sentence without saying the F-bomb. Perfect. Anyways, you guys leave your thoughts. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like I should do a YouTube course myself and just literally charge $20. I'll probably give you more information and better realistic information than any of the other of these other people, to be honest with you. Just to fucking say, hey, oh, see, I said the F-bomb. I think that guy is right. I'm a I suck. I'm a loser. Anyways, I'm not going to do a course. Um, if you guys want, my, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll fucking, I've done one-on-one -on -one calls before, but I'm not really into doing courses. Uh, this guy goes, oh, thanks for all your donations, by the way. We got five bucks from this dude, another five, another ten, another five, Robert Johnson, Scott, all you guys, and all my Patreon members really appreciate you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Um, God, good talk. You guys leave your thoughts. Um, or if you've bought any courses from any of these people, uh, go ahead and tell us if it was worth it or not. Because uh, I'm surely not going to buy any of them. I think it might be funny to try out the Trevor Wallace guys just because it's like 125 You know, I'm not about to spend no 400 fucking dollars on, you know, I'm already successful with this. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> Appreciate you. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Um, but I think it would be funny because I feel like someone like Trevor Wallace would probably give out more valuable information than these other like financial gurus. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Anyways, happy Sunday. <laughs> Classic.